the concern was the road is bad, but it was reported that some man had been released, and the fear you people had was man has been released, and maybe my engineers had eaten the money and claimed that they have, they have finished work. The truth is this, no money has been eaten on this road. No man has been eaten. Uh -huh. the, truth, and the truth is that the money that was there, the government decided first, Yundra decided to work on the other road and make it to a standard that, would, that, that took all the little money that they had and so they ran out of money that was meant for surfacing this road. And because of that, I have now come, I have seen by myself the problem of the road. It leads to the hospital, it passes into the heart of your, your, your municipality. I am going back to tell His Excellency the President, and then we look for money for fixing this road. But so I don't want you to say, oh, the money was eaten, no money was stolen from here. They are to do quality work there, but they are also going to do this road. This one I can assure you. So it was a mistake for anybody to put in our program, in, a, in, a, in one of our lists, that this is a completed road. That was a, a bit of an omission, but that one we are going to correct. I will be explaining it to the whole country so that nobody, no, nobody will, everybody will be clear that no money was put here and no money, no money has been stolen, and yet we are going to work on the road. I want the country to know that. Uh, these roads had been assessed before. What delayed work was when we went into the COVID crisis, so everything was put at, a, at, a, at mark time. When we opened up the economy, then we had to say, with the limited resources available, how can we prioritize? But unfortunately, nature could not wait for us to really get all the resources that we need. The bad weather, particularly the extreme weather conditions that have characterized the entire country, have not spared Kigesi, particularly given its topography. Most of the bridges have been washed off. Most of the facilities that are critical, like health centers, are not accessible. It's the lorries of government coming here to bring relief, that alone puts pressure. On, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the roads that were supposed to handle the pole of Kisoro and probably the traders here. Unfortunately, when, when we're discussing those areas that are benefiting from the refugee wind of World Bank, uh, Kisoro wasn't captured because sometimes it is just on a transit area. The Nyakabande is a, But now the people, the place which was supposed to be a transit area is almost like a permanent home for refugees. So, so I am also going to share with my colleagues in government to see what can be done so that the people of Kisoro uh, can be rewarded for this hospitality that they have exhibited to these thousands of Congolese refugees that they are hosting even now and who have destroyed some of their facilities. So all that is going to be discussed and then we inform the country accordingly. We see how we can get a permanent solution. Fortunately, my engineers had been in the site before, again, just like I have said. Kwa kwa watu le tiri kwa sasa wazi, tura batera hasi, ai na vira ruga hapi ki, epe watu tere mumi nisho, dion na vigate. Namba no pai pesi mwezi biashia ha, zona mizi gazi tiri foko, ni yaziri mo mo kufunji foko, era tu shaba governmenti, tuereza imikono aborti inorudia. Every business is stuck here, businessmen are stuck, they can't cross, bringing their timber from this side to the other side, they are stuck, so it's really necessary to. 
really plan and get a solution for this bridge. Thank, Thank you. you. Minister Kohere is our engineer, and I was supposed to have personally come that time. Akashi Kohere is there, but somehow again, because of so many things to do, I, I, I requested the engineers to come and have a look at the engineer. They prepared a report for that place. Oh, this is the one we were describing. So this should not be a big deal. The mayor can help us to invite the, the two stakeholders here. And then they say if UNRWA is allowed to put a channel here. Because in the future, indicated that this is yet a priority which we have not yet funded. So that it should have been clear. But when they make it like among those that have been completed, it was an error. So that one we're going to correct it, but also let you know what the plan is. But before I make a public communication in Kampala, 